Okay, good morning everybody. So today we're going to do something slightly different. We're not going to do the pick two. The pick two was something I did with the uh, older kids. Let me just write down that we did that for Second. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with getting on the mat and I'm going to show you a few different things that we can do on the mat. Okay, so uh, if you don't have a mat like this, this is pretty cool. Some of your parents might have this. It's a yoga mat. Get a blanket because we're going to be on the mat for about five or six minutes or on the carpet will be fine. Don't do it on a hardwood floor. I think it'll hurt your knees. You'll need something to, to be on. Okay, so first thing, you can stop the video and go get that and come on back. All right, so get your heels together and your toes together. Grab your toes and push your, push your uh, heels into your, to your pelvic area and make butterfly wings. That's what we're doing. And just gently shake them. Okay, we're just going to kind of rock back and forth a little bit. And what we're doing is we're, we're stretching out this, this area there. And with a lot of yoga stuff, you just kind of like to be there and take your time doing it. Kind of relaxing into the pose. Okay, good. So this next one, I want to give you an idea how I want you to do this. Put your legs forward. Okay. And what you're going to do is we're going to keep our knees on the ground. Don't let them come up like that. Now, however far you can get on the ground, sliding your hands forward, that's fine. So... I think I introduced it to you. We're going to go to the point where the stretch feels somewhat hard. We're not going to have it feel like really hard or really, really hard, but kind of sort of hard, somewhat hard. So knees on the ground, slide your hands forward to where it's, boy, that's kind of sort of hard because you're going to feel the stretch in this muscle back here. And maybe if you have your toes forward, you'll feel it here. Legs, knees on the ground. Slide your hands forward. Each of you are going to be different. I can get to my toes. So right now, I'm not feeling that this is hard or sort of hard. When I go a little bit further, it feels sort of hard. Okay? And that's okay. I'm comfortable with that. Do you see how that feels? It feels a little bit uncomfortable, right? Okay, relax. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to that point where it feels a little bit uncomfortable. And then we're going to go a little bit beyond. Okay, what we don't want to do when you stretch is you don't want to bounce. You don't want to do that. Now, the reason why is if I had a rubber band, I'd show you. Um, our muscles aren't really like rubber bands, but they're stretchy. And if you go ahead like this real quick and go like that with the rubber band and if it's kind of cold it might snap your muscles won't snap but they could get injured okay so we don't want to do that so we warm them up a little bit by doing some little bit of exercises before we go ahead and really play and then as we improve our stretching we go right to that point where it's a little bit hard and then what i want you to do is to go beyond it a little bit so for me, I can get my ankles and I start, I'm starting to feel that this is sort of hard. And then I'm going to go a little bit further to my toes. Then I really can feel it. And I'm just going to hold it there like that and not freak out that it's, that it's stretchy, that I can feel it. I'm okay with that feeling. It doesn't, it doesn't, uh, Give me any fear or anxiety. Okay, relax. All right, so put one leg in. Remember how we did the tree pose, standing up, so we're 
kind of like the tree pose. Now it's the same thing. Slide your hands forward. Find that sort of hard area. And then a little bit further. And hold. And relax. And relax with that. Can you relax even though there's a little bit of discomfort? That's pretty cool if you can do that. Okay, now go to the other one. Go to the point where it's a little bit hard. Now I'm, feel, I'm feeling it here, and I'm feeling it here and here. Now go where it's, you're feeling it, and go a little bit more. And just try to be at ease with that feeling of discomfort. And that's okay. It's not pain. It's just discomfort. Okay, got it? All right. Um, all right, while we're sitting down, I want you to get on the mat like this. All right, and put your hands on the ground. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift our hips up. Like that. Okay? Lift them way up and hold. Okay, go back down. Okay, up and hold again. And see if you can make your hips up high enough so it's almost like a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, last one. So get a pillow. Here's what I want us to try to do. I've got this roller. Some of your parents might have a roller, but a pillow will do. Okay. Or if you roll up a blanket. But I want you to put it under your sit bone and just sit back. Now, what we're doing, remember on the previous exercise with our legs out, we were stretching the the bottom of our leg we're doing the top of our leg now we're stretching that out okay so your toes are on the ground so just breathe nice and easy and now I want you to sit up and down you can lean back a little bit can you really feel it in the front of your legs good Okay, now I'm going to take my uh, prop away, and I'm going to sit back down. Now, if it's too much for you, don't do it. I'm used to doing it, so I can I can do this. If it, if it's if it's too much of a stretch, don't do it. And I can really I can feel it in here. Some of you might not have a problem with it. So we're going to do something that's called the child's pose. And what we're going to do is we're going to put my forehead on the mat. Okay, and then we're just going to relax there for, I don't know, 30 seconds. And for me, it's just really relaxing. Really. I could stay there for minutes. Really feels good. Okay, put your head and forehead on the mat. And kind of just sit back down with your, with your butt touching your, touching your ankles if you can. And I put my hands by my toes. I don't know if you can hear that. I put my hands by my toes. And just relax. Okay. Sit up. Okay, don't get up yet. All right. Come on up. Off your knees. Off your butt. Go back down. Okay, while we're here, let's go ahead and do this, this lunge. I hope you enjoyed that. That was that's really, really so relaxing for me. I could sit, I could do the child's pose for minutes, not just a half a minute. All right, we're stretching out this muscle right here. Just push forward. And lean back a little bit. Okay, 
Let's do the other leg. And what I want you to do is you're going to just push your hips forward just a little bit. Okay, let's stand up. All right, that was great. So I think I had you do some of these. Um, let's go ahead and do, the older kids do a push-up, and I think I had you guys do it. what's called a plank, if you remember that. And a plank is making yourself like a board, stiff as a rock, stiff as a, a piece of, of, of wood. So you can either do the plank like this, or a little bit harder is on your elbows. Okay, so you can make a choice. All right, and we're going to see if we can do it for a minute. Ready? Let's start it at. Uh, we'll start it at eleven thirty. And we'll see if you can hold it for a minute. That's pretty challenging. Ready? And three, two, one and go now if you're doing this on your elbows it's your a temptation to drop your hips don't do it keep your hips up now if you're doing it on your with your arms extended i think it's a little bit easier but it's still still not so easy Some of you can try this. Go from your elbows to your hands, elbows to your hands. That's pretty hard to do. No, what did we what did we start it at? I think we started at we started at eleven thirty. I think we did. So let's do another couple seconds. Three, two. One. All right, get in a sumo sit. Let's see if we can do that for a minute. Ready? Sumo sit. You can do it. Get your legs all the way down. If you need to head, do it against the wall, go find a wall to do it on. Okay, I'm going to hide the clock because sometimes when you look at the clock, it goes so slow. Now, you're starting to feel it in here, right? That's discomfort. It's not pain. If you feel it in your joint, that could be pain. So you do that, you might want to stop it. In your muscles, it's probably not pain. It's probably discomfort. And that's okay. You can work through that a little bit. Okay, let's do it another 15 seconds. Let's do it to 13.30. Ready? You can do it. Five more seconds. Three, two, and all right good all right let's uh let's stop there today no let's do a few sit-ups all right you're gonna do your choice whether you don't want to do sit-ups where you bend your legs cross your arms and sit up like that you'll need something underneath or I'm going to challenge you with doing a V-sit like that, okay? All right, so let's start it at 14, 15, and see if we can go to 15 with either doing sit-ups. If you're tired of sit-ups, do the other. Ready? Three, two, one. I'm going to do a V-sit. A I'm going to try to hold it for 45 seconds. I'm not going to show you because it's kind of hard. When you're looking looking at something and we're seeing the clock just go so slowly. But I will show you now. We got 15 more seconds. You can do it. 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Excellent. All right, up. Let's end it with a stretching up to the sky and breathe out. Ready? Breathe in and breathe out.
in, touch your toes, up to the sky, and good place to stop. Okay, good workout today. Remember, what I'd like you to do is get that jump rope. When we're done, go outside and practice your jump roping. That's the way you get good. A great activity. Okay, see you next time.